Hey, I'm Dave Phantom with Body Form Personal Training and Fitness Boot Camps. This is Kerry Grissel, one of my longtime clients. We're going to do a 50 rep ladder today of 11 different exercises. This is a full, full 30 to 45 minute workout, depending on your, your exercise condition. And the rep scheme is 50 reps of the exercise, then you go through all 11 exercises 40, 30, 20, 10. And if you have any questions, you can download this workout above or below this video. Carrie P is going to demonstrate three to four repetitions of each exercise, and we'll do our very best to give you a beginner and advanced version if they're possible. For some of the more, you know, like the jumping, we'll give you a full body extension. And some of the exercises can't be modified, you just have to do the best you can. Um, so remember the rep scheme on your first round will be 50 reps of that exercise. Then you'll go to the next exercise. You'll go all the way through all 11, then you'll rest one minute and begin again, starting at 40 repetitions of that first exercise. And the very first exercise is body weight squat. Okay, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width, no weights, just body weight, head up, chest up, and just squat, good. Breathe in as you descend, exhale out. Good, five of those, in your case, 50. Immediately into push-ups once you get the 50 squats. She's gonna show you the beginner version. So you're on your knees, nice straight lines from shoulder hip to knee, hands are wider than shoulders, and you're gonna go to about 90 degrees with the elbows, and then press straight up. Breathe in as you descend, exhale up. And right, full version. If you're feeling good, do as many of these as you can. That's it, one more, and rest, good. Do as many full as you can, then modify for a total of 50. Next exercise is four lunges, step back. You're gonna go 25 on each leg, just drop it, so your total count, so alternate, go one, two, good, all the way to 50. Because there's a lot of lower body work on this, this will be more than sufficient. Good. If you need some weight, grab it, but I would recommend a whole lot. There's a lot of volume in this workout. And rest, good. Next exercise is inchworm. This is something a lot of people haven't seen. So you, you start with a slight bend in the knees. You're going to fall forward slightly, land on your hands, and then walk it out. All the way out, then all the way back with a slight bend in the knees, and then stand all the way up. That's one. You're gonna do 50 of these. Sometimes you'll see people doing a push-up, but we're going to do so many push-ups in this workout, you don't need it right here. This is just work that lower back stability and core and break. Good. Next exercise is 30 seconds of running in place. You can go high knee, just have your timer, and click it and go. High knee, just like that. If you're not feeling that good, you can march in place if you're carrying a little extra weight, or if you're just beginning. And break. Six exercises is mountain climbing. Arms are straight, you're in the push up position. And let's go slow first so they can kind of see it. Bring one foot up and land it, then switch. There you go, and show full speed. That's it, just like you're climbing up a mountain. For 50 reps, that's 25 per leg. And break. Good. Next exercise is a vertical jump or a full body extension. This is number seven. So if, you're, if you have like knee issues, to, you've had babies, jumping, it just doesn't work for you, you carry extra weight, well, squat down, put your hands on the ground, and then come up as fast as you can, drop your hips up. There you go, in full, full extension, good. Always protect the lower back. If you've been working out for a while, you can do jump squats, and she'll show you. That's it, hands to the ground. 50 of those will get your attention, no matter what shape you're in. And break. Next exercise is full setups. You may need dumbbells to, stay, to put your feet under, or you can put them under the couch. Just something to give you a little bit of torque. Use those hands, full setups. 50 reps. If you're, not, if you're not able to do this, let me show on the crunch real quick. So legs come up to 90, cross your feet, hands are behind your head, and then just rotate your shoulders off the ground. If you have lower back issues, or if you're carrying so much weight that you know the full setup is just not working for you, 50 crunches will do the job. And right, good. You're on your feet. Next exercise is reverse lunge. Number nine. So head up, chest up, and you're just gonna step back. This is the easiest lunge to learn. 
And you'll do a total of 50, 25 per leg on that first round, then you'll start dropping. Perfect, good. Head up and chest up. Excellent. And rest. Close grip push ups is number 10. So let's show a modified first. You're on your knees, hands are in close, about shoulder width, and your elbows are going to slide right next to your body. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. And one more. Or yoga push ups, if you will. And break. Right. Beautiful. And up. Perfect. Full, as many as you can get, then modify it as needed. Last exercise, finish out with 30 seconds of high knees. Hit that, click that timer and go. And break, good. That's how you do it. That is a long, high volume, full workout. Take some time to make this thing happen. You take one minute of rest, then you go right back into body weight squats for 40 reps. All the way through, one minute of rest, 30, all the way down to 10, then zero, and you're done for the day. Knock it out, full body workout, burn that fat, get toned up really fast, and let those results happen. I'm Dave Fan with the Body Full Personal Training, Fitness Boot Camps. This is Carrie Purcell. Hope you guys have a great day.